Hello everyone! Six months ago we presented you the prototype of the long-awaited invoice editor. And since then lots of things have changed. The single-purpose feature has grown into a multi-tool now called the Documents Editor. So, before we proceed, let's go through the key features of a new editor. Different types of documents. Any document you add can be edited by the Documents Editor. No limits, no restrictions. The Import Expert feature. Add new types of documents by using the soon-to-be-introduced Import Expert feature. The Unified Editing System. All documents use one editing system. So, once you learn how the system works, you will be able to edit any document. Full add-in support. Add new documents and snippets with add-ins. Identification editing. Coding skills are not required. Just enter the data manually or use variables and snippets. Preview. Check how your documents will look like by using a preview feature. Conditions. Manage the content of your documents by including conditions into code snippets. The separated products table. Use the products table tab to manage the look and structure of the product section. Backward compatibility. The editor supports all templates starting from version 4.0.1. Now let's move to the detailed overview of the editing functionality. By default, four types of documents are available. An invoice, a packing slip, an audit details page and a gift certificate. Some of them a packing slip, for example, are attached to packages and sent by post. Others, like audio details, are sent by email. To overview new features, we are going to use an invoice as an example. This is a financial document with a statement of the sum for the order that can be used to report to tax authorities. The editing functionality is the same for all types of documents. The editor has been greatly extended and redesigned. Three tabs conveniently separate different functions from each other, allowing you to work either with elements of a document or to see the whole picture on the general tab. To edit the invoice, use variables and snippets located on the left. Just click the variable and it will be automatically added to the desired place on the invoice. Variables and snippets use the data from the store to substitute correct values. Speaking about variables. There are two types of variables available. Common variables, that contain general information about orders, users, company and other main aspects of a store, and variables with an array key, that are hidden under the plus buttons. You can identify these variables by the dots between its parts. They specify the general data provided by the common variables. To make it easier to understand, let's take a look at the example. Here we have the o.trackingNumber variable, where o means order. Instead of pulling the full information about the order, it pulls only its tracking number. While editing, click the use default value link to return everything to its initial state. To change the look and style of the whole document, use the top panel. And finally, to check the result, click the gear button at the top right corner and choose Preview. In order to see a preview of the invoice template, you will need to create an order first. The same thing applies to other types of documents. Now let's turn to the Code Snippets tab. Code snippets are used to represent common elements of a document, such as build to and ship to fields in the invoice. On this tab, you can create, delete and edit snippets. Also, snippets can be used to specify the conditions under which some values will be displayed or not. For example, you can create a snippet that will hide tax and discount lines on the invoice if no taxes and discounts are applied to this order. Next is the Products Table tab. This tab represents the Products Table snippet. This snippet creates a table that contains the information about products being ordered. Here you can not only add, edit and delete columns of a table, but also change their position. To do this, simply drag and drop the desired column. While editing, use variables to fill in the columns. And here is the icing on the cake for you to finish it up. The backward compatibility. The new editor supports all templates starting from version 4.0.1. The old templates can be found at Design, 
templates. After the detailed overview of the general features, let's take a quick look at other documents that are available by default. The next document after the invoice is a packing slip. A packing slip is a list of products that is attached to the package being sent to the customer. Let's move on. Order details. Unlike the invoice, the order details page contains no billing information and is not meant to be used as a financial document. Instead, it is sent by email to the customer as a reminder about the content of the order. The last document in our list is a gift certificate, a document generated by the add-in. Add-in documents are easily added to the new editor. All information is conveniently sorted out between tabs. All you need to do is just enter your own variables. Any types of documents and snippets can be generated by add-ins. That's it for today. We would be very happy to hear your opinions on the new features and suggestions for improving them. Please do consider testing the editor on our demo website and leave your feedback at our forum. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CSCAD videos.